Hey guys, we're back in here. It's doing a little bit of work on this mountain over here. So I mounted the tunnel portals. Glued it down. So I have to spray foam. I'm going to spray some more foam under here. And here, closing that gap. Of course, up here and under the roadway. I don't know what I'm going to put here. I'm using a shaper sheet. So I guess the foam will stick, but I don't know if it will look better if I just use plaster cloth and then a little bit of plaster. Or just spray over it. So, let me know what you guys think. And two new cars to run. Get from under this light. Got this last night at Hobby Lobby, nineteen sixty-seven Mercury Cougar. And I got this guy off of eBay, 1971 BRE Dotson 240Z. So we're going to crack them open and see if my streak continues of cars that work straight out the box. Let's get to it. All right, let's get this... Uh... BRE open, so this one, this guy arrived first. We'll put him down here for the time being. She is pretty. So th this this series here doesn't have that imperfection like the five tens do. They did a great job on the two forty. Awesome. Bre sold quite well. Quite sure they made a profit off of the uh, BREs. Let's crack this guy open. Yeah, this guy looks real good. It has a little bit of the uh, four-wheel drive effect on it, but it's not too bad. I love the Trans Am series cars. They did a great job on these guys. Look at it. Good detail. And, of course, it's closer to the size of the train. More so than... Uh, The effect size cars. Because we all know a Dotson is smaller than a Cougar. Not here. Because one's a T jet size and the other one's an FX size. So. so let's run these guys and see if the street continues. If I can get this camera set up.
let's get the sauce out here first. So we know it's not DOA, so that's a good sign. Pretty quick. Come on, give them a compliment, I crash. <laughs> Running good, straight out the box. No oil, no nothing. So I am going to take it apart. Hold it up. Like we used to do when we were kids. Sometimes they did run faster after you took them apart and put them back together. Like sometimes the brush was not in there right. It might have been like lopsided. And once you take it apart and put it back together. This one runs nice and smooth. You get some silicone tires now. So I was thinking about for the uh, virtual racing. And the first time though he's uh, unorganized. I have a method for the madness. So whoever you run their laps, they're going to get the floor. Ten laps. Sixteen volts. I'll show the bottom of the car. You see if you have the stock magnets and all that stuff. And eventually, you know, somebody's going to come along and try to get slick. I'll show the chassis without the body. You see if you have the stock armor on it. The uh, auto worlds have a certain look. And yeah, I don't have a light, so can't see that good. Well, let me move the camera. It was already oiled up from the factory. Pretty much just drop on the track and run it. Traction or mag traction, whatever Johnny Lightning. You know, I have some of these that are uh, like the earlier uh, Auto Worlds that don't have third mag. You really not that much difference in the time, if any at all. Whichever one you prefer. These style of cars is they're not too fast. You know, for such a small layout. This is a bigger layout. I guess we can still run those too, my god. SRT or Super 8. Bulldog. bad thing about tunnels. Thought about leaving it open. So I, I, I'm debating on it. I'm not sure what I really want to do. 
does make it kind of like a pain like the cars crash. Get so on. Then it doesn't look as good. There's always a, a, a trade off somewhere. No guardrails. This year has run straight out the box. Well, I guess it's safe to say that they uh, improved their manufacturing process somewhat. That wasn't always the case. A few years back, especially. Uh, before the scamdemic, the beer bug of unknown origin, the cars, it looked like hit or miss. Sometimes they ran good and sometimes. They did not. It's a good one, it's a good run. Probably needs to be tuned up, so. It's a runner. I always like this car, though. This is a good looking car. That's why I go to Hobby Lobby once a week. Because you never know, it's, it's hit or miss. You might go there and they have something good. Sometimes they don't. But you never know, you gotta stop by and take a look. And fortunately, I have several I can visit within driving range. table or something. Four by five so I can uh, stand up and run the cars. Just something I thought about on, on a whim. I was getting kind of bored doing a live. Add something to it. We can get some good participation. If not, then I uh, I'll kill it. So we'll see. Time will tell. Anyway, guys. Gotta stop. Put the dots back on here. And sometimes when they make the transition from AFX to Tygo, they get stuck. At the joint. 
Anyways, like I was saying, I'm gonna round it up. If you haven't already, smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video.